Hello there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome to Amnesia Custom Stories. This one has been recommended to me by Scott's World frequently in mass on my Discord which you can go over to in the description of this video. Now I've got three that I'm going to get through, I'm going to play them in sequence and the first one is apparently going to be La Casa, right here. We're going to play with this one right here. Hotkeys? Yeah I've got so many hotkeys, I, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with my new keyboard. A scientist receives a letter from a colleague, but their plans are adverted when the plane's engines fail, stranding our protagonist in the wilds of a jungle. Will you survive? Probably not. Probably not. Writing of a site in South Africa made my skin crawl with goosebumps and my heart race. Remembered as the ones who saved humanity from an illness, all disorders. Is this supposed to be like chasing the fountain of youth? Ah, oh, here we go, back into the old stomping ground, eh? All right, let's start ransacking the place. Can we uh, maybe throw anything around? No. A note. Newspaper clipping. The newspaper is brown and worm. Cure all at all possible. Today, two scientists, Albert Jones and Eugene Crowley, are researching a new pharmaceutical that will treat all ailments from the common cold to the carcinogenic tissue. The two have been nominated the Nobel's Peace Prize and Shewins if their research is conclusive. I thought the Nobel Peace Prize was supposed to be voted on after they actually did something, right? Dude really bright? Yeah, it looks- oh, maybe the brightness settings are actually working for once. There we go! It was my recording software. I had recording software doing it. Okie dokie, so... Uh, what was the story? Uh, Fountain of Youth, right? We're searching for the Fountain of Youth. Already a tinderbox, wonderful, can't wait to never use that. Got a chair, gonna toss that off into the corner so we can further ransack this place. Nothing down here. Wonderful. Eugene, Another I hope this letter finds you well, as I have exciting news I must share with you. Last night, while I was kicking my feet up in the pub, I was approached by a well-dressed man. His hair was greased back, and his suit was quite snazzy. He was obviously there for business. I he told me that he knew me from the research you and I had begun, but never finished during our time at the university. He then went into great detail, explaining how he stumbled upon it while attending college and found that we were onto something. Our research for a cure-all medication was closer to completion than we could ever have expected. He then went on to explain that we are only missing one chemical in our experiment. He called it Scientite as he produced a small vial of purple liquid from his coat. He informed me that the small vial of liquid was retrieved from a research team in South Africa. The team has found the source of Scientite and said it can be extracted in great quantities, but they need more scientists to aid in their studies. So that is where you come in, my friend. Travel to Africa with me, and we will be remembered as the ones who saved humanity from all illness, all disorders. Signed, Albert Jones. We've been conned. That's the story, right? We've been conned. Also, I forgot to bring the chat back up when I uh, refreshed everything. Put the chair back? What? Why the hell would I do that? Chairs are made to be thrown, not satin. Uh, what's up with the star? That's a soapstone, isn't it? I remember that from the campaign. Uh, anything in here, maybe? There are some clothes, but nothing that we can wear. I'd probably rather wear that, that chair right there. The chair chair. The chair that's currently sitting on a couch. Anything in here? Can we light this? Why would we light this? Let's not do that. Flip the chair? How do I flip the chair? Is it like a... Like that? I hit myself in the head with it. Uh... Oh no, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. What? Damn, I'm really bad at the controls of this game. Okay, okay. No, I can do it. I can do it. No, 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 no. Not quite, not quite. Ah! There we go! Hey, What do you think? Pretty good, huh? You can sit on that. Get a nice wee tickle up your bum as well. Exit! What is the mod over already? I expected the trees and bugs, but I didn't expect the plane's engine to fail. I can only remember waking up hours later, alone, with severe tinnitus. <coughs> you guys hearing this? <coughs> Ow! <coughs> I bet we've got malaria, right? We, we have to have malaria. We've been bitten by some kind of gigantic mosquito, and uh, we killed it. With a, with a revolver before it was able to completely drain us of our blood because Amazonian mosquitoes are about as big as a person, it, it is known, it is written. But we killed it, and now here we are, we've contracted malaria. Ooh, F for lamp, gotta remember that. Shift the sprint? What the hell? Oh no! 
I feel like there's some kind of dangerous cat out in the bushes here. Ah, well, fortune favors the bald. This way. I ran for what felt like miles in complete darkness before coming to a small clearing. Where? Sorry? Where's the small clearing? Is this it here? Ah, lamps! That means people are around. Have we all seen that thing that's been going around on the internet recently? Would you rather be stuck in in the woods with a man or a bear and everyone keeps picking a bear? I would probably choose a man. Because I would use my words. I would use my words to say, hey, we could probably work together. Right, we've got another little place here. Good grief, is it windy? You killed a mosquito with a revolver? Yeah, hell yeah. They're really big out in the Amazon. You don't really have a choice. The tense feeling of being watched was something I couldn't shake, but then my hope for rescue was renewed each time I saw the lights. And thus the weekend was born! Okay, there's something over there, and there's also something over there. Let's go investigate this obvious bit first. Oh, Lord! Research entry 34. Dr. G. Cruzman. It's been a week since we arrived at the site. Our contractor, a Mr. Blue, seems to have forgotten to mention that this research outpost, and the source of this scientite, was being held in the confines of this forgotten temple. The other doctors have made reports of unusual noises coming from the depths. I assured him it was nothing but the wind. I, too, heard these sounds, though. This place gives me the creeps. I just want to finish gathering this chemical and leave as soon as possible. Okay. Honestly, I don't blame you. This candle looks like it was pulled out of Shrek's ear, so that does not fill me with confidence about what we are about to face. Oh my god, your penis! Alright, do we start Blair Witching in the corner? Is, it, is this what we're supposed to be doing? Blair Witching in the tall grass! Why did I hear a door? Oh, that's why! It's because there's an entrance to this temple that was just mentioned in the last piece of lore we picked up. I had no choice. I followed that monstrosity into those unknown depths. Okay, unknown depths. Wow me! Wow, you really need this lamp in here, don't you? Ooh! That's not good! Ooh! Witnessing unsettling events can reduce your sanity. I mean, that sure as hell is unsettling. We are now trapped in here with that thingamajingy. I wonder where it is. Uh, there's a gigantic chasm with what seems to be a very consistent trail of oozing liquid coming out. What's this, research? Research entry 88, Dr. G. Friesman. The team was right. The sounds were a warning and we did not heed it. We had just set up after reaching a rich source of cyanide when Birmingham, our botanist, went missing. We called for her on the radio, but got nothing back. Soon enough, Lewis, our geologist, went missing during the search for Birmingham, leaving us with only myself, Dr. Kleiner, and Dr. Wang. <laughs> we came back to the main chamber of this place after much discussion. We decided to board the main hall, wait three days for the missing team members to make their way back to camp, and if they do not show, we will return to Mr. Blue to form a proper search party. Yeah, someone named their kid Dr. Wang. Isn't that hilarious? Throw that down there, of course. Oh, that is deep. I didn't even hear it hit the bottom. Oh, there it goes. I think it, it sounded like water, so I think that the next natural progression is to jump down into that pit, right? Can we quick save? I don't know. Uh, doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Good to know. We probably need one of those save artifacts, don't we? What's this? This is... A... Uh, Couple of streaks of blood, I think, or strawberry jam, I can't tell. Or the brazier. We've got to get a crowbar, right? We've got to get a crowbar and we've got to use it against these planks. Well, that was easy. All right, let's jerk this. Boop. Nice! That one center plank was holding all of them in place. Oh no, Dr. Wang, don't do that. No, there's no way in hell I'm Dr. Wang, right? There's no way in hell. Oh, I was expecting something to jump out at me. These halls were visited before myself, and that was comforting. The conclusion of the past visitors was unsettling, though. What past visitors? All we saw were, like, two little streaks of, of crimson on the ground. I don't think that constitutes as, as blood. 
More like somebody just kind of cut themselves touching the wall or something. Okay, not seeing a whole lot in here. Ah, that's significantly more blood than we saw in the entranceway. I don't know what that is. I think it's supposed to be a pile of dead rats. That'd be way scarier if they were human. But they're not. So I don't think we have to worry about it too much. Ah, there's a rotting pig. Oh! What, did I, did I touch the pig too fast? Okay, let's spank the hog. See if it does anything else, because obviously if we touch it, we're toast. Uh, maybe put that over there. Don't want to ruin someone's dinner just because... Hey, there's drugs in here! Nice, laudanum. Ah, I miss the old days of the, uh, the medicant concoction of cocaine, morphine. What else is in laudanum? There's alcohol in laudanum, a little bit of ibuprofen. Uh, there is a human leg just over there and a tinderbox. Very cash money, if not just a little bit Gucci. Okay, don't really want to light that. Maybe we take this leg with us. Because if we come across a monster, maybe we can bait it into trying to consume this leg. It'll be a thigh fight. I'm trained in the art of my thigh. Okay, can't enter that, luckily. But something's banging on the inside of it. Ah, oh, a human skull! That sucks. That's very creepy. Let's knock that onto the ground because it's disrespectful and a little funny. What's in here? Hello? The hell? Is this another area? The waterworks! Well, I don't want those to start up. No, no, we are all about to toxic masculinity in this playthrough right here. We are going to braid through. I'm not going to worry too much about these waterworks that we've heard so much about. Uh, we can definitely open this if we had some kind of leverage, which unfortunately we do not. Okay, so what's in here? That looks like a lock to me. A worn iron lock keeps this door shut. The unfinished chambers. Well, probably not really up our alley anyway. Unless there's like a crowbar or a nail gun in there, something that we can use to remove the giant pile of stones that are blo blocking the obvious progression. Can we take a peek in here? No. These halls were visited before myself. That was comforting. The conclusion of past visitors was unsettling though. We've seen that one before, have we not? A little bit of water right here. Ooh. I was about to say pretty, but it's literally just four planes, four animated planes. Clever though, that's a pretty good way of animating water without like loading the the computer too much. Okay, we've got a little bit of oil. We should probably conserve it. Just a, a mild thought. Okay, we're going insane. That's not good. Ah, drugs! Great! And also, looks like we've got some more oil. That looks like a lever belongs there. Okie dokie! I'm just going to bring the lantern up periodically. I hope this is not too, too dark. Limbs, limbs, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you eat, the more you eat. <laughs> Maybe in the hills have eyes. Uh, is that the right way? Did I do that? Nope, that's definitely the right way. That sounds like a time limit. Why is there a time limit? Can I open this? No, I cannot. What is this? Do I crank this crank? Why did I do that? Oh, nothing in there. Anything in here? Nope, that's locked as well. Okay, something just... Oh, I see. We have to hit both of these levers in sequence, don't we? They could make the water sprite face you. That would also be really clever. But they probably have to pivot all of the non-connecting things on an axis. Okay, good. Even though we just died, we did find this handle, which I suppose is a good thing anyway. Uh, let's go jam this into the socket that it belongs in, which is just at the end of this hallway here. Now, I'm not playing Iron Man mode, so the insanity will not have me killed, which is quite lucky, I think. That is actually very clever. And you're right, they definitely could have made this face us. But I think the fact that they figured out a way to animate water in this game without actually animating water is probably enough. All right, I'm pretty happy with what we've got here. So let's go and hit this first lever. I think then we'll basically make a mad dash to the next one, right? Jam that down. We'll come all the way through here. 
And we'll jam this one down to our immediate right, right here. Jam that bad boy down. And we'll come all the way down this really dark hallway to jam this one down next. Oh, I solved a puzzle. Nice. What the heck, this part is a wee bit frustrating. I completely disagree. I have slammed. I have slammed through that. Why am I doing this? Oh, I can go in here anyway. Okay, looking pretty good so far. There's a free tinderbox right here. Do I hear a monster? I don't think I hear a monster, per se. But I do see another circular crank. I'm gonna crank this crank right here. Okay, that's as cranked as it will crank. Uh, there's probably still another one around the place, right? Which is absolutely fine, I will find it. Probably hidden inside a recess in a wall somewhere. Be quite honest. All right, my heart is beating. Quite unnecessary. Another, another crank, maybe? Crank? Crank! No, nothing. Just a bunch of bloodied stones. Maybe it's all the way back. Maybe it's back a long way, or maybe it's at the end of here. It is not at the end of here. I assume it's back here. The attention to detail in this custom story is actually quite impressive. Okay, we can go back. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's, it's entirely necessary to go back. I'm starting to see in the stream that it's quite dark. That is why I have that color corrected. Uh, should we put that back on or? Because it was there for you guys. Why would someone hide a peanut cup in the walls? Oh, maybe they've got family and they want to have the peanut cup all for themselves. Okay, I'm cranking this crank. I don't know what that did. Did that unlock something? Didn't unlock this. Okay, so we can crank that four times before it just resets itself for some reason. One, two, three. Never mind, it just resets itself at three as well. One, two. Is that helpful? Not really. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? It was hidden behind a bunch of boxes. That's fine. Give this one a, a jolly good cranking. A crankening. One. Probably this one too. Maybe this one's second. And this other one has to be third, right? This one has to be the actual... The coup d'etat. Is that it? Did I get it? Da 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 da. Village news. Have you got news? Share it. Share it with the class. Okay, maybe this one's first. I'm happy with what it's at right now. Maybe this one's next. Or does that one just reset them all? I think I might just reset them all. Okay, there's got to be like a third one in here, right? There's got to be. Oh, there is! Wow. Okay. Try that one first. And then this one. And then this one. Whoops. Missed completely. Indigo Park 2 officially releases this time next year. That is actually very exciting. I love that. I absolutely adore that. Indigo Park was fun. I really liked it. Maybe now if we crank this, we found them all. Yeah, baby! Okay, it hijacked my mouse a little bit there for a split second. Is it is it too dark to watch? I feel like it's too dark to watch. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm I'm doing it. I'm 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 gonna change it. I'm ch I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Oh, that's way too high. That's a bit better. That that's tolerable, right? So now you guys can see the game and and I can't really. Here we go. Okay. Right, so I did see the trapdoor on the ground. I know that's where we have to go next. I'm just kind of looking for more secrets or anything. Maybe something that could tell us whether or not scientifium is, is absolute bollocks, because I'm pretty sure it is absolute bollocks. Oh. Great. You shouldn't have. Like, realistically, 
You shouldn't, of all of the things that you could have done, this is the thing you shouldn't have done. I swear to God, if the water monster is down here, I'm going to just drop a turd right in my pants. I hate the water monster so much. I hate water. Oh, okay. What, what is it? What is it? What happened? I saw the box move. I don't think that really warrants a jump scare. Hey. I see the hammer. Maybe we use that to break up these logs and a large oil potion. Very cash money. Wouldn't it just be oil? Hello? I forgot chat again. <laughs> I keep forgetting to bring chat up. Here we go. No, it looks fine. I think, I think this is a little bit better. Like, it's slightly better than what I'm seeing, but you can definitely see. Crowd clapping dot mp3. Thank you. Thank you so much. I live to please. Okay. Hands off theory. I think there's going to be a monster at the top of this ladder. I'm now taking control of my character again. I'm making that a thing since I, um, a two for two called the plot of Poppy Playtime without taking control of the character. And I did it in the third one as well. I'm pretty confident about what's happening in the third chapter. I just did a recording of that yesterday. And it appears to be pretty straightforward, actually. Pretty straightforward indeed. The hell did I just get stuck on? A plank. Nice. Finally, Ed, Ed and Eddie comes through. We solved it. I can imagine this hall was once filled with families and children gathered around the tables. But now, it's, it's just women and children gathered around the tables. Since Amnesia the Dark Descent takes place very shortly after the Seven Year War. That was the war that Prussia started. Who the hell put the skull back in place? I left that there for a reason. Show yourself, Vandal! Where are you? We probably have to bust down this, right, with the hammer? Cannot use the item in this way. Okay, then we have to use it on the lock, surely. That's just a theory, a hyperlink blocked theory. Hey, my theories have actually been weirdly, weirdly omniscient. The intense feeling of being watched returned as I entered the corridor. The smell of rotting flesh was present. Ah, oh, finally. The smells of home. Rotting flesh. That's what I know and love. I'm going up the stairs. I know that I've seen a lot of horror movies where going up the stairs is uh, the last thing you should do. But between going up these stairs and going down those other stairs, I choose up these stairs. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. The builder was absolutely garbage at what they did. Look all this construction. They literally just gave up on the last few steps. Why? Is it supposed to be a, a security measure to keep really, really old people out? Oh, I can move this rock. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. So why did I do that? Was it because of this wall right here that we have to break down with this hammer? No. We probably need like a cold chisel or something, right? Oh, piss on that. Oh, there's something down there. There's like a pot down there. It'll be like a... Okay, new theory. We need like a rope. Or a stone. Solved it in record time. I'm using the tools we have. It feels good, actually. It feels so good to just absolutely smear through all of the puzzles that the game throws at you. Oh, no! Okay, I'm assuming that that was just a jump scare and he's not actually spawned. Nope, nothing. Bit of blood down here. Oh, is that a human hand? Very nice. I love the feng shui of this place. It's very cash money. Okay, so... So this is what this room looks like. It is a cold chisel! Chipper? No, what? Oh, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, 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 Blue witching in the corner. Wait, seriously? 
Was there nothing? Did that not? Was that just misinformation? But it was, wasn't it? I'm gapping it! Damn, my character's hungry! The temple is alive! Something is nearing me. Something I can hear and feel, but not see. Oh, you mean that, um... You mean that monster that you've seen a bunch of times, but can't see nor feel, because it, it just despawns? Alright, we have to combine this with that, I bet. Yep. I was a builder for five years. You can't pull the wool over my eyes like that. Bing. Actually, points for accuracy. That's exactly what would happen. A cut off, a cut off hand, Dr. Wang? Really? Is that Dr. Wang's hand? Well, I guess he's not going to be touching the Wang anytime soon. We, we got a... Was that all I needed to do? Yes, apparently it was. Uh, is there another one? Maybe a secret up here? Laudanum? Perhaps? No? Drugs? Drugs to fuel my laudanum addiction? Oh, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Which way do we need to go? So we did that one. We've been down there. We've done the waterway as well. Oh, did we turn the water off to the waterway? Is that... <laughs> Finding limbs lets Dr. Wang this crap. Yeah. Smart. Just use the other hand. What, for, for tossing the Wang? Tossing the old Wang doodle. Who keeps doing this? I'm leaving that there for a reason, and so I know I've been here. Oh, we still got the hammer and chisel. Nope, nothing. Whoa! What? No! My god, no! Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh, that thing! Is it hunting me? I can hear running water at the main chamber. Okay, let's drown it. Oh, that's right. These stairs that I chose not to go down. Is it chasing us? Ah! No! Why? I'm bee hopping. I'm gonna bee hop. Cause like I know that it works. I know the bee hopping actually works. Quickly into the pit. Oh! I heard a voice inside my mind. Then the sound of roaring water engulfed me. Hours passed, and I once woke again. I woke up somewhere I had never seen. <laughs> That's a lot of sewage. I can taste it. Minecraft water logic. It is, isn't it? It is Minecraft water logic. Oh, they're reusing that same asset, by the way. <laughs> Which, again, is quite smart. They basically just animated one flat plane to cycle a repeating texture over and over again. Which is how they get that. And then they put uh, the planes kind of like staggered against each other, but not facing the same direction in terms of like 2D. You can actually see one of the seams up there. And you can kind of see the seams in between as well. It's clever. It is actually very clever. And considering they've uh, spelled quite a significant portion of the words in the dialogue wrong, I'm actually quite impressed that they were able to figure that out. What's in here? Oh, I apparently just took a note. Do I need notes? Nope, don't need that. I need some kind of explosive to clear the rocks in my path. No, you don't. We've still got this hammer and chisel. Just uh, take out this one. Do that one. Fine. Fine. Just put mud on the water. There was mud in the water, and now there's mud in my mouth. Also, by mud, I mean poos. Note concerning recent findings. It has come to our attention there are dangers to health while excavating certain areas of the temple. Please use extra caution when exploring these new areas. Please stand at least five meters back from ignited explosives. First and foremost, cavens seem to be frequent. Stay vigilant and aware. The air here is quite musky and may contain harmful spores. Take breaks outside as much as needed. Birmingham has made a small batch of counteragent to fight the symptoms. Finally, use of chemical A and use with chemical B, which is used to extract the cyanide from the fauna. Appears to be highly explosive when introduced to coagulated blood. This shouldn't be much of an issue, as the only source found so far was down below the large chamber that Dr. Lewis aptly named the Sacrificial Chamber. What in the effing H did I just read? Coagulated blood. Oh, we probably need to put coagulated blood in there, right? Do we use the chisel on ourselves, maybe? 
Let's just bang this cold chisel right into our head. No, it did nothing. Okay. Uh, we'll leave this dresser open because I think we're going to be attacked and it kind of looks like that's where we hide. Oh, we're out of oil. No, we're not. We've actually got heaps of it. Nice. Nice! Now's your chance to be a big shot. Be a big, big shot. Be a big shot. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Be a big shot. I have no idea what you guys are referring to. If it's D and B, I've never heard of it. Or maybe it's like, uh, maybe it's dubstep. Or Iggy Azalea, I don't listen to them. I don't even know their gender. Where are we going? There's two places. Uh, by the way, this is actually the symbol for Prussia, which is quite funny. I feel like this is a reused asset from the base game, but it's been kind of decorated further as well. Quite interesting. I will. This week I'll know. Oh, okay. It's a Delta Rune thing then, right? It's got to be. The lab was somewhere I almost felt as though something happened, and I couldn't quite figure out what because the uh, dialogue went too fast. Okay. Hands off, Theory. All the doors are going to close as soon as I run past them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hello? All right, doesn't really look like there's anything useful here. We've got some Kuprit. Kuprit, that's fine, chemical A. We'll make some chemical X. And thus the Powerpuff Girls were born. Blossom, bubbles and buttercup. Don't judge me, I had two sisters growing up. Oop, screw that. <laughs> I'm not going in there. You couldn't pay me enough to go in there. Nothing in here. What about in here, any goodies? No, not a single one. Wow. All right. Fine. What about this last door? A simple lock bars the door shut. I'll need a key. Or you could use this hammer and chisel as a key. Oh, lazy. Lazy! He hammered a door lock off with just the hammer before, and now he's too... He's too embarrassed to do it now that he's got the right tools for it. Right, some coagulated blood there. Gotta watch out. It might explode. Hello? Housekeeping? Okay, that looks like somewhere we can hide as well. Let's keep that in mind as well. There's blood under that door. I'm not sure if we actually want to go in there, do we? In fact, you know what? Probably not. Probably not at all. Was this the only way to go? Cuprite sounds like a soda brand. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Cuprite Sun. Drink a nice mouthful of Cuprite Sun. Yeah, I think we've seen everything else that we could see. Uh, I think this is actually the objective. We'll go all the way through. Big Shot also sounds like a soda brand. Oh. Oh, I thought we were transitioning maps. I suspect danger. My suspicions were, if nothing else, watered down. Okay. I'm going to do a crouch because I'm scared and this place gives me the willies. It's been a wee while since we've seen the big rude dude and I feel like he's about to appear in here. Or maybe not. Ah, there's just three dead people's skulls in here. That's fine. My lamp! Hello? Wait, did I lose my lamp? Where's my lamp? No, I got oil. Uh, skull? What's going on? Should I not have taken that key? I feel like I shouldn't have taken that key. Uh, at least it smells like rotting flesh in here. Oh no! Are we stuck? Oh, we're stuck! No! Okay, we still have a hammer and chisel. We can probably just break through, right? A wall somewhere? Because I didn't see a door when we were coming through here. Is it here? Is it here, maybe? I think this is where we entered, right here, this spot right here, so maybe... No, that is not the answer at all. Uh, we could waste a tinderbox. Ah, let's do it. Let's just waste a tinderbox. Yeah, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot that could really do us any good in here. Oh, what? Okay. Bastard Skelly broke this game's kill count? Yeah, I'll say. Because it's supposed to be uh, three dead people here, right? And we've we've got three skulls 
in this instance, but we've also seen another skull. The one that I kept dropping on the ground is kind of like a, hey, Jensen, you've been here before. Right. So that was just a weird acid trip. It's strange. Cheers over here. Got some strange symbols on the walls as well. Not particularly interested in what they have to say, to be quite fair. Oh, I also know what that kind of weird sound is, by the way. It's, it's the protagonist grinding their teeth. That took me so long to figure out. It took me so, so long to figure that one out. Okay, I'm gapping it down the hallway. Closing the door. Okay, we have a key now for this simple lock. Hello? Housekeeping! Oh, I hate that. Okay, there's nothing in there. I can almost guarantee it. This is probably the dimmest bedroom that I have seen since I woke up this morning. Do we hide here now? Are we about to be attacked? What's going on? All right, so we mix these two together. Accommodation doesn't work. My ass, it doesn't work. We're supposed to mix them together and then put some coagulated blood in there. It's been a while since we've been attacked. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Hello? Why am I investigating? Okay, I thought we were going to be attacked, but we weren't. The lab was somewhere I almost felt it at ease. Too bad it wasn't my lab, though. So, are we... are we Wang? Are we actually Wang? Are we the Wanger? Are we the Wanger himself? I feel like we're the Wanger himself. Uh, no, can't do that, apparently. Alright, you then. Do we need, like, a jar to put these in, or something like that? Fresh vial of coagulated blood is my favorite daytime snack. Me too, man. Me too. The only thing that I would rather have is uh, some nice, like, human human thigh jerky. We only see one hand, so... Oh, true! Yeah, good point. So, Wang is now a lefty. A one, one-armed lefty. We haven't been down here, have we? I don't recognize any of this. We haven't been down here. I would remember this ethereal glow. Oh, is this a maze? We're going to get attacked down here, aren't we? We're going to get attacked and we have to solve the maze while we're being chased. The hell is that? Is that a cage? Oh, the cell's everywhere. Yay! Lore! Hello! Oh, I hope you aren't offended, but I've gone ahead to the lower levels of the temple with the guides Carmelio and Elion. The roots of the Quezo Blossom lead down, and I expect to find our biggest harvest yet. It might even be too much for our little team of people to handle. I've been harvesting samples as we go for you and Dr. Wang to collect. The pure extract has to be diluted until we can bring it to a safer place. Carmelo and I unfortunately discovered the hard way that carrying pure scientite can have some adverse side effects. Uh, nausea, anxiety, paranoia, and possibly even hysteria if exposed for long periods of time. I'll rendezvous back with you tomorrow morning by the entrance. Be safe and don't trigger any Aztec booby traps. Gene. Thank you, Gene. Thank you for the lore. I don't know. I kind of like this chair setup, honestly. I know you want me to put the chair back, but doesn't this actually feel a little more cozy? I like it. I like it. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, there is a lock here. We still have this hammer and chisel. Okay, it's sturdy and won't break. Fine. I'll find my own way around. So, she said that there are some mean side effects to this stuff, right? Locked, but I can smell rotting flesh coming from this door. Yum, yum. Oh, I'd break a door down for some rotting flesh. What would you do for a Klondike rotting flesh bar? Oh, just bust the door down, to be quite honest. That's an acceptable chair spot. Yeah, I thought I thought you'd agree with me. I thought you'd agree with me there. I've, I've got a good eye for Feng Shui. Unlike whoever uh, lives here, who seems to decorate his walking space with rocks and braziers and loose bricks, which should not even be outside of the wall. Here we go. Fixed. <laughs> I knew being a builder for half a decade would come in useful one day. All right, what's down here? I know we've missed a bunch of stuff, but I'm pretty sure we can double back around, can't we? Uh, 
That was bad timing. Ah, we still have oil. We'll use the lamp if we need to, but I don't think we'll need to. Like, now would be a good time to use it, actually. I don't see anything in here worth taking. Never mind! Wow, that was a wealth of treasure. Very nice. Excellent. So we probably can't open this one either. I think that thoroughfare right there is just the progression that we're supposed to be taking after we solve this area. Oh, another room. Hello? Whoa, what? Why? 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 What's happening? Why am I being haunted by the ghosts of Prussia's past? This is a tiny little locker. Okay, good. We got some drugs and we also got a tinderbox, which we have not been using. What's this? Anything in here? There is actually nothing in there. Any oh, what the? Why? Hello? Don't worry, I'll, I'll get you out, sir. Hello? Oh. It's just a violent key. Which we can't really pay without getting into the sarcophagus. Can't be kept. Oh, it's a, more of a coffin, isn't it? Or an elongated chest. It really depends on if you play too much of the base game or not. We're probably going to be attacked now that we have this, right? Hello? I sense aggression. Oh, can't go that way. Ooh, okay. Yinsen, did you know a new Doom game was announced yesterday? No, I did not. Ooh, yes, I love Doom. Love Doom so much. Back when I was uh, playing Airsoft at the local Airsoft club, I ended up getting a replica Doom helmet. It was pretty good, actually. Got known as Doom Guy on account of my incredibly aggressive playstyle of deathcore screaming while running at people, firing my, my electric rifle at them. Okay, can't go that way. We probably need to find the cage doors now, right? Which, if I remember right, were way back this way. Or maybe they weren't. Crazy. That's too many tender boxes, IMO. The key <laughs> that key plays too much Doom. No such thing. No such thing as too much Doom. It get this medieval themed confusion, but I'm very interested. What? In uh in, in the new Doom. Medieval Doom is the weirdest thing in the world. Surely that's not what they're going for, right? Oh, we can't open the gate this way. We've got a chamber key here. Blood coats the key, maybe from a sacrificial chamber. Blood coats the key from a sacrificial... Okay, so we're either looking for a door or we are supposed to be making an explosive out of that key. I don't think there's anything else that we can do with it, is there? Right? Yes. Oh, it is medieval themed. Oh, that's so strange. Like, I vibe it, but... At the same time, is there any room for the BFG gun? <laughs> or probably more eloquently put, the BFG, because the G stands for gun. Oh, this looks promising. Yes, yeah, so this has to be the sacrificial... And do we still have it? No, we could have actually used that to make the bomb. Oh, piss on this. This is revolting. This gas, it makes my head hurt. Yeah, you don't say. It's full of farts and smog and this guy with his ding -ling hanging out. Hello, sir. Are you using your... Just a second. What hand have we got? We've got the left hand, right? Uh, are you using your right arm? Because I think that I could use one myself. No? Okay, we'll give him a couple of tea bags and... Then we'll go pick up this obvious gigantic decanter. Take this hammer, because I know it's the heaviest. Oh, I got a hammer. I got a hammer. I got a hammer. I'm bulletproof. Press! No, I'm not bulletproof. Juked. <laughs> 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 oh, suck up that, you big bastard. Oh, he's so far away from us as well. What an idiot. I literally just ran him in a circle and he was just like, okay, well, that's fine, I guess. What an idiot! Doom Dark Ages is the name? Okay. 
I'm looking forward to it now. So now there's Doom Dark Ages that I'm looking forward to, Silent Hill 2, the remake, and also I saw Black Ops 6 might have a uh, decent campaign for the first time in like four games. They still fully have the guns in the trailer? Ooh, that guy's on one of Dr. Wang's limb growers. Ew. Slowly grow on that third leg. <laughs> He's gonna be Dr. Wang in a moment. So we probably have to make it in here, right? Make it in there? Yep, that's precisely what we do. And chemical B goes in first. Nope. Chemical one goes in first. Of a volatile mix, it says. And now we'll put in this one. And we've got an explosive compound. Awesome. Let's uh, put it over here. Actually, what happens if we take a knock? Does it, does it? Okay. I thought it was gonna detonate it in our pocket, but it doesn't look like that's the case at all. Okay. Volatile, what was the description? A mixture of blood and ambiguous unknown chemicals. A volatile mix. Once set, I will have a few moments to take cover. I'm running! I've got the cover. I've got cover. Oh my God, that hurt. Thank you, chair. Okay, we'll take some drugs. That's better. I feel way better now. After slamming all of that opium and cocaine and meth. Oh, decisions, decisions. This way. Uh, we're out of oil, annoyingly, so we're gonna have to stumble around in the dark. Excuse me, sir, just need to... Okay. Let's loot! Let's keep looting. Uh, two feathers in there, or quills. Ow, I think. <gasps> Is that a Minecraft dirt SFX? I didn't pick up on it. It could be. Indie developers uh, really do kind of have to work with a budget. Okay, we have absolutely demolished this here dresser. There's nothing in it. That was a complete waste of our time. There's a chair here too. Let's, uh... We put this here. That's not where I left it. That's better. Now that's Feng Shui. Look at all the floor space for activities. I'm through... Wait. We're, uh, uh... We're missing... We're missing an entire hallway. Okay. I don't know my own strength, apparently. Isn't this where we started? Okay, I found a tinderbox. I also remember not lighting this as well. This is where we started. Large oil potion, thank you. There's a rabbit here that we'll throw over there. I don't know if I should be glad or if I should be terrified. A discovery like this would have my name in college textbooks, but I doubt I'll live long enough to see a first edition. This, this is a sacred place, a gargantuan labyrinth for ritualistic sacrifices to appease the Aztec god of discord, the Jaguar, Tetzcatlipopa. He is described as a volatile deity with the power to cure all diseases, forgive all trespasses, and free men of their mortal destiny. Instead of choosing to bless humanity with his divinity, the Jaguar god deprived us for the sake of his amusement. It is said that Tetzcatlipoca is the begetter of war. His name means we who are his slaves. Four priests would each choose a limb to bind. Then a fifth would plunge a knife into the sacrifice and carve open his or her body, removing the heart while it still beat soundly. Ali Ma. They would place the organ in a bowl and toss the body down from the top of the temple. The head would be removed and displayed. This temple, it belongs to him. I have managed to ignorantly stumble my way far into its heart. And now, as the last shred of my reason begins to vanish and I finally turn to run, I find myself caged. As I face my executioner now, the routine of writing in a journal soothes me for a moment. As I come to the end of the century, and I raise my head to the dark, I see something stirring, coming to take my heart. 
Why does she sound so joyful and, and gay and boisterous? Why is she so happy for this to be to be occurring to her? Questions I don't think will ever get answered, I don't think. Also, that door sound is in Doctor Who a bunch. Oh! That was... This is the same room! The first one where I threw the chair! Consistency, please! So, it does appear that... We are... Oh, we must have some of the scientific... The, that stuff, right? Well, bolts of rugs here. Not particularly interested. Uh, there was nothing in there. Oh, hello. That wasn't there before. Yeah, I think we are experiencing a lot of the symptoms of having the scientificum on us. But those spores have affected my nervous system. Was I going mad? It does seem that way, doesn't it? It does seem like our, our dear protagonist here is going mad. Oh, what's down there? A note. There's no way I could lift these gates by hand. Maybe there's a mechanism. Well, one would damn well hope so. For the sake of progression, we can see under the door frame here. What, do I need a key or a... Nope. What about down here? No item to use it on. Is there like a plank or something that we can kind of like tear off of the wall and use it as leverage to, to break the door open maybe? No? Okay, we definitely need just some kind of mechanism. It's got to be like a button on the wall, right? I don't think it's going to be a crank or a lever or anything like that. It's got to be a button on the wall. Ah, uh, that would have been perfect. Another one here. Nope. Maybe not. Yeah, that's definitely shut tight. Okay. I finally hit a wall. I'm also about to sneeze. If anybody's ready for that. Oh, it's nice and warm in there! Come on, let me in! Oh, wait! Maybe we can just, like, break off a, uh... A beam or a plank? I'm not seeing a hell of a lot that we can use. At least we just use this on here. Can't use this item in this way. What do we need? Okay, we just need a mechanism, it seems. So this way's locked. We're gonna need some kind of pivot. We definitely need some kind of pivot, and we're probably gonna find it back where we just came from. Wait. Oh, I thought we just came from this room for some reason. All right, and there's nothing in, uh, in these drawers right here except for acid reflux. So we gotta go back. We gotta go back and we gotta find something long and planky. Oh yeah, this is the lab. Good, good. Yep, still not seeing a hell of a lot that we could just outright take. In fact, I, I see nothing. The Dr. Wang is strong with one, with this one. Honestly, we've only got one arm. Reality is an illusion. The universe is a hologram. Play Deltarune by. <laughs> well said, Dog Shark. Well said. I'm not sure what to do next. I do have to find leverage, right? I have to go and find some leverage so we can slot that under the door and maybe just uh, bust it off. Bust the door off. Which I assumed would be in here, because I remember this being locked, unless we didn't even really take a look at it. Probably don't need our lamp out here. I'm not seeing a hell of a lot. Unless there is actually something in here. I think we're probably just going to be locked to the next area of an ecosystem. That's in here. Because where else would a piece of leverage be? Okay, okay. That's definitely locked. I don't think there's any way to... kind of break the game and get around that. We definitely need some kind of... button or a crank of some sort. Which there doesn't appear to be in here. Unless that's one. Nope. It's definitely not it. I feel Hello? like the... Oh! Somebody there? Yeah, it's me! If you're there, please answer. I'm right here! Please. The door's locked on the other side. 
Take this key. Please open it oh. for me. Hey, thanks, buddy. How long you been in there? I'm Jensen, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh. Sir? Sir? Why the hell is this guy just blue witching in the corner? Okay, he's definitely not one of those ones that you can just behead for fun. What if we just toss a rock at him? Yep, that's precisely what I expected. What about this one here? A lot less. Dude, you're racing through this in comparison to me. I I have a I have a way with games. I have a way with them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I can show this on the internet. Woo. That's going to require an age restriction. So there's this busty fella here as well. <sighs> busty, busty. Would he like to get hammered? No. Oh, hey, would you look at that? A mechanism of some sort. So I assume that I'm kind of like... Let's, let's take a... Let's have a good think about the... The actual story, right? Not on YouTube, on the internet. I am on the internet. Oh! No! No, not like this! Not like this! I assume that this temple is- WHOA! WHY?! This temple is kind of like the location of a bunch of dead lost souls, right? And these dead lost souls... We're trying to free them. Oh, piss. Now we have to do it in the dark. Don't spank me! I'm having such a good time. I'm down by your balls! Oh! Oh! Don't spank me now! Oh! of oil. Oh, this is a horrible situation to be in. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay, hello there, sir. I, I, uh... I'm leaving now. Ah, platforming. Yes. This is precisely what I wanted to experience. First person platforming. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing in this world I would rather do than first-person platforming. Oh, piss. There's a crank right over there as well. Right, so we've got to obviously go over here. What am I doing? What am I doing over there? I think I glitched my way up. I don't think I was actually supposed to get up here the way I did. Okay, let's open up this door. Crappy weeping knights. Yep, well, if, if, if they were any better, they wouldn't be weeping. Okay, I'm... And I, I am a leaping knight! Nice. I, I just outsmarted the water monster. I don't think I can make that. I'm probably going to need a box to jump up onto. Probably one of these little ones here. Be quite here. Whee! Whee! Okay. We'll put this right on the edge there. Whoop, that was close. Almost just lost it. Don't, I don't want it to go into the, into the drink. Why is it moving so much? Okay, there we go. Uh, I think I could probably sprint, jump onto here, and then onto here. Yep, very nice! Very nice! Water monster is Monty? What, like Monty Gator? From the, uh, the, pop the popular franchise Five Nights at... Five Nights at Freddy's. Can't see. Can't see anything! Can't see. This looks like an obstacle course where I'm about to be chased. jump up on this and then jump over there. Yes! Very cash money. Oh, God! Oh, my God! He's right there! Run! 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 I feel that there's something calling to me. Calling to help or luring me to my death. Yes, 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 lol. Monty has water part of ruin that is particularly memorable. Does he? What a guy. Don't we take his legs from him? In the, uh... I can't see. Why can't see? 
Du, 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 du. Du, du. Hey, leave the melodies to me. Thank you very much. Well, I can't see. Uh, we're going to take these two tinder boxes, even though we haven't used a single one in this whole playthrough, which is quite funny. Ooh, Gregory is very anti Monty legs. That's good to hear, because that was my takeaway of Ruin as well. If there was anything we learned about the lore of the Five Nights at Freddy's universe, it's that Gregory is 100% against Monty's legs. Uh, that's a book. Why wouldn't he put this back? It's a library. He would have had to open the drawer to put that there as well. Excuse me, Chip. Gonna move that away. Okay, I'm still taking a wee peek around. Another couple of peeks. Very nice. That sounded like a ghost. Let's... Ah, sounds like a boss fight's coming up soon. Why would I want a sanity potion? Ooh. All right, I hear something that is just not normal. Why is this chair blocking every path I want to go in? Uh, do we look in here? We did not, just more books. Unsurprising, given the fact that we are currently in a library. An amnesia game with a real boss fight? That'll be the day. Yeah, the, the, the actual amnesia, the Dark Descent, had a boss fight right at the end with uh, Alexander of Brandenburg. Right, where is, oh, I think that's where we have to go. Where is this? More, there he is. Blair Witchin in the bookshelf! Damn, bro, you need some oil. So do we, actually. We need some oil, too. Uh, we could probably do with taking some more drugs. Not really for our health, but just because we we want to. We want to take the drugs. We're already addicted. We've had a taste of the good stuff. Hello? Woo. Ooh, look at that. Look at that booty. He thick. He dumb but thick. Ooh. Okay, he's going home. I don't know if he's nude or not. I'm hoping that he's not nude. Okay, let's let's go for it. Let's let's make a piss that teddy. Oh, is he coming in here too? Ooh, I don't know if you call Alexander a boss. He's more like a foe that sits there and lets you kill him. Yeah, well, he's busy. We were probably supposed to run through here, right? That's okay. I play Payday 2 as a stealth main. Woo! Oh yeah, he's dim. He is actually a dimwit. We could probably just follow along behind him, couldn't we? Maybe we're just ducking here. Wait for him to pass back this way. Is he coming back this way? I suppose we'll know. Hello? Okay, I'm, make, I'm making a mad dash. This is stupid. This is really stupid. There he is. I think we go hide in this corner right here. Wait for him to pass. I think he's coming back this way. Man, speaking of a foe that just sits there and let you kill him, this guy's nuts, isn't he? He's not doing anything right. Okay, he's coming back. 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 This is probably the the stupidest play that we could make, by the way. To just kind of hide in this tiny crevice instead of going over there into the light. As soon as I see him, I'm... Oh, 180. No! Oh, my God. 
Oh, I'm gonna love the ending to this trilogy. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the ending of this trilogy. You have to carry on. All right, fine, I can do that. So this is the next. Oh, Tinderbox. No, this is the previous library that we were already in. And now we have to gap it to the next area where he should be waiting. I don't hear him. I don't hear any rusty screeching. I don't even think he exists, to be quite honest. Okay, no oil. Ah, oh, great! A bone saw! Thank you so much! Dog's head. Another skull. Alright, we got a bone saw. Oh my god, why? Fuck on you! Fuck on you! You dick! You dick! He's not still chasing me, is he? No, that looks pretty reinforced. There's no way he's still chasing me. All right, what's this way? The hell am I... I don't have any oil, so I can't see what we're supposed to be looking at. Okay, big staircase. There's obviously a giant blue orb right here. Yay! So what do we put here? Do we, do we put the bone saw? Or maybe we take off our other arm with it. How does a one-armed man cut off the last arm? That's a good question, me. I must make a mental note to figure that one out for myself. Okay, I found an edge. Obviously, we're just supposed to go up, right? Oh, huge double doors right there. Not to be confused with Dumbledore. Right. You know, Dumbledore, popular antagonist to the Voldemort, um... The Voldemort Anthology. Harry Potter's the boy who lived. Voldemort was the man who killed. Okay. Let's just go up the stairs. It's obviously what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, is that oil? No way. Nice! Thank you, game. Everybody say thank you to the uh, horrifying game for the nice oil. All right, more first-person parkour, which I, I, no, no! Oh my God, we're alive. Finally, an excuse to take more drugs. Yum. Okay, good. I actually thought that we were going to die just then. I thought that we were going to die, and fortunately, as luck would have it, we did not actually die. We didn't perish, and we didn't even succumb to death. It's pretty nice, too. Okay, run, jump. No, torch! Oh, the torch is in the way. Okay, let's slam that into our lamp, and then we'll do a horrible, filthy bunny hop. Oh, that worked. I can't believe that worked. That one's probably going to break. Uh, let's do another filthy bunny hop, because I know it works. There we go. Wonderful. Ah, Heinrich Cornelius the Cripper. I wow. own some of your books. You have arrived. Ah, well, yeah, of course. My you summoned me. Gordon. And if you haven't noticed, I helped you to get here. But now, I was hoping you could help me. The God of Discord holds my soul here until the sacrifice is complete. We'll need the sacrificial tools to finish the ritual. The ritual knife to remove my heart, and the bone saw to remove my head. Once the knife isn't up here, is it? Head, then place my heart on the, the altar. This won't please the begetter of war, but it will banish him and his creatures. I tried to cut his head off halfway through his dialogue. Tools so many years ago. Oh! Okay, the we need the knife. Good. But yep. We'll need the knife to remove my arm. Not any knife will do. That's okay. I'll find one. I'll figure it out. Budget Agrippa. There we go. Oh, none of these are breaking. That's actually really nice. Okay, good. No! Well, express elevator down. 
We might be in a, uh, a bit of a sore spot, but it could be a lot worse, couldn't it? We, we could have had to manually go all, down, all the way down there. I just pissed off an entire fandom with, uh, fandom with 12 worlds. Yep. Who could I trust? Was that really the same Gordon from those notes? Was it this mad god in disguise? My own thoughts are revealing to me the, the secrets of the dam. Okay, now I don't know if the monster is still in here, but unfortunately until we figure that out, we're pretty much doomed to have no help. Never mind. That was easy. And back we go. <laughs> Hello? Well, that's going to confuse him. He's going to think there's a massive echo. My own thoughts feel as if they are turning on me. I'll tell you what, if you want to... That beam just fell from the ceiling. If you want to piss off the Harry Potter fandom, it's as easy as literally just saying Voldemort. You can do it with one word. You can speed run pissing off the Harry Potter fandom. Also, here's a hot take. I like the books, but I wasn't a fan of the movies. Which seems to be the uh, worst take on the planet, given every person I've ever spoken to who likes Harry Potter only has seen the films. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be hop that because I just don't trust that beam right there. Whoop! Bee hopping for people who don't know is kind of where you jump and then you turn your camera because uh, a bunny hop is basically where your jump follows where you're pointing the camera. So you can like turn your camera side to side and it's really hard to take them. Need the Bad take? Tools. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, shut up. Ritual. The ritual knife to remove my heart. I have them. Oh, do I need sacrificial tools as well? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, we're not done. Head, then place my heart on the altar. This won't please the begetter of war, but it will banish it and its creatures. Okie dokie! What? What? You already have more tools? Wonderful news. Hurry, hurry. Finish the rituals. Don't worry about my pain. I've suffered enough. Please. Wait, you didn't want to tell me that I didn't need ritual tools before? This guy's a dick. This guy's absolutely a piece of human garbage. I am going to annihilate his heart. I'm, go I'm gonna drag this one out. Make me do more first person platforming. Who do you think you are, Gordon? I just don't know. I literally have no idea who he thinks he is. Like he's been here a long time. He, he might have a really warped um, perception of himself. He may have forgotten that he has a corporeal form. What? What? Oh, that was... <laughs> that worked better than I thought. Do I still got oil? No, I just ran out of oil. Just in time to uh, stab this guy. Here you go, buddy! <laughs> that view was silly. It was like, you know, knife. Huh. Uh. Okay, that is not the sound of a bone saw on flesh. Picked up Gordon's heart. What about his head? What about his head? I don't see his head. Head? Didn't I have to cut his head off? Didn't I need the head for anything or was that just for fun? I think that may have just been for fun. Wait, why can't I just dive off of the edge here? Why do I have to follow the actual path? Why did that hurt? Okay, I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna be hop off here. And then I'm gonna take the stairs down. Good grief, that was arduous! How hard could it possibly be to cut a man's head off with a bone saw? Okay. We'll take his heart and we'll place it in this nice receptacle. Or maybe not. Did his head like fall off the edge or something? Do I need to go and pick it up? What about I can't use the item in this way? Isn't that exactly what I needed to do? Okay, so we've got Gordon's heart. Which doesn't really look like a heart, does it? It actually looks like something completely different. I don't know if we're actually supposed to be sticking it in this receptacle here. I think that's where 
his head was supposed to go. But his head went missing. There was no head. There was no head. All right, fine. I'll go back up again. This is arduous. This is actually a little bit fiddly. I'm getting really fast at doing that, though. All right, so we needed his head, right? So where is it? Where is the head? We just spent God knows how long cutting it off. It can't be that hard to find! It's not like behind this area here that we have to jump along, is it? Whoop, whoop. Okay, so it's got to be down there, right? It's got to be off of this side right here. Not there, not there. On, on the other side. And we've just run out of oil, so now we're going to have to stumble around in the dark a bit. There is no head! Wow. Why is this illuminated? Oh, I, I see. It's all illuminated. All right. Well, I'm still not really seeing a head anywhere. I don't know if a head was necessary. But I know we need to find some way to open up these double doors, right? All right. I'm using our first flint and tinder. Maybe we can just bust it down? No. What is my favorite movie? There are so many movies that are my favorite. My favorite horror at this point has to be Event Horizon. It's such a good one. Do we put it there? No. Do we put it here? Event Horizon is essentially the film that um, led up to the events of Doom. Do we eat it? Do we eat the heart? Do we consume it? In any way, shape, or form. I need to place Gordon's heart on the altar to finish the ritual and banish those demons. Okay, so this is Gordon's heart. This is the ritual altar, I imagine. Oh, I'm being attacked! I'm being attacked! I'm gonna run! I'm, I'm getting it! I'm getting it! Oh, piss, that's not good either. We don't have any oil left, which is uh, a big, a big, a big L, a huge L, one might say. Okay, hopefully Mr. Squeaky is now out of the doorway. Excuse me! Oh, he's a... <laughs> nice try! Nice try, game! Okay, we're moving towards the light. I assume that we have now just died. Miles. Ran into his legs, nearly gave out. Once he thought he was far enough, he stopped and looked back at the temple. He heard no more screams of terror in his ears, but in his mind, he thought he heard Gordon's voice. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we are Eugene. We're, we're Eugene. Is, is, is that all that this story told us? Russ Money! Oh, that sounds so familiar, that name. Russ Money. Why is that? He wasn't a friend of Cryotic, was he? Chaotic Monkey? I think he might have been. The stream has had a heart attack for a minute, lol. Not much I can do about that, but I am recording these to go up on YouTube with the chat now. Oh, yes, look! Cryotic, right there! Your videos continue to entertain the masses. That is so sweet. Nice. So, the story. There is or, there may or may not be a thing that cures every illness, but at the cost of giving you depression, anxiety, insomnia, uh, everything that maybe you don't want. Oh, the end. And we also have a TYR299 code, which is one of the three parts to get the secret at the end of Amnesia the Dark Descent, which I have already taken a look at. I don't know what the numbers mean, but I know that the 
the the text at the start refers to gods. That was good. That was a really good game. So I, I don't know if the scientificum, scientificum stuff actually exists, right? Or we don't know if any of the people exist. We don't know if we're actually a part of the expedition. All we know is that we are Eugene and we found some guy chained up in there and a bunch of things tried to kill us. Have I, have I basically hit the nail on the head with that one? I, I feel like I have. I feel like I have. Okay. I think it's about time to end it. That was really good. I'm going to get to the next ones very, very shortly. Abduction time. Abduction time. Hell yeah, it's my favorite of the trilogy. Abduction. Okay, right. So we'll get to that one next. So, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist that this ends up going in. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And of course, just down in the description below, after you've hit the subscribe button, you'll find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me personally and my community. And until I make the next episode, which is going to be in, what, like, six seconds? Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!